Well, hey, YouTube. I got a question from a viewer. Um, Henry asked me, he said, what's the uh, best pellet you found, uh, a heavy pellet that works well in a Daisy 1101S? And uh, he's trying to quiet his gun down. And I was fortunate he'd actually left that comment because I'm in the middle of kind of testing pellets out. And uh, I was kind of curious light pellets to heavy pellets what they did for foot pounds of energy so what i'm going to do is uh i already did all my crony testing i'll have that towards the end of the video you can see the slides and i i put the you got the 10 you'll see the weight you'll see the feet per second and then i calculated out the fpe um and then what i'm going to do is i've well before that i'll have the 12 targets here and uh, i'm just gonna off camera i'll shoot groups i'll have a video and so you can I'll edit it so you can just see the holes and uh, I'm not going to touch the scope I'm just going to shoot it just the way it is at 20 yards um, and uh, I really don't care well I'm looking for accuracy but I'm also not going to spend uh, an extraordinary amount, of, extraordinary amount of time trying to get perfection I'm, I mean 60 60 uh, shots I got to do here I just kind of want to shoot and just get a general idea um, so anyway so here we go Thought I might give you guys an idea of oh, the pace I'm shooting these at. I'm not taking an excruciatingly long time between each shot, so I'm not shooting for maximum best possible accuracy just because it would take so long. Um, more just kind of curious in general. How, how they'll do and since I'm shooting the gun same way for all the pellets I think it's a good representation it's unfortunate sometimes and not every time does the trigger take a set and you can feel it click into that little groove point and then you know it's going to go you pull it a little further Because right there, it went into its little little groove. But it doesn't do it every shot. I, I don't know why. Um, maybe as it breaks in, it'll do it more, uh, more regularly. All right, this is number five. Oh, and these pellets that I'm shooting are the, uh, well, you can see on the target down here, uh, down there, they're the SIG match. And uh, they fit in a bore a little bit, a little bit tighter.
Okay, that was a lot of shooting. So the blue flames weren't great. These are the pistol. Uh, these Meister Kuglins are for pistols, the seven grain. Um, again, not great. The Crossman wad cutters. I was a little bit surprised. Where are those guys? The Premiers. I really thought these would do better than they did. Don't know why. Daisy wad cutters. So, but we had a flyer over here, if you can see that. Um, but yeah, not a quarter at 20 yards. And I've seen some pretty good results with with these. And these are on sale right now on a Daisy site for, I think, less than $3 a, a box of $250. Oh, these are $500 because I paid less than $5 a box for these. So, anyhow, I think they're pretty good all-around pellet. Sig Match. Sig match. Sure they are. So these I got at Sportsman's Warehouse, and uh, they've uh, proven to be pretty good in a lot of different guns. So almost a quarter, 20 yards. And again, this is the one I showed you the pace I was shooting. If I really... I had 23 minutes of video for when you guys saw them hitting the targets. If I was trying to do this perfectly, holy cow, how, how long would my video be? It's just... It's not practical for me to uh, to do that. I just want to get a general idea. Uh, JSB Diablos. These are the 8.44s. And quarter. We well, have that one over there. It's not even a quarter. If you wanted to get pickies, call it a flyer or a nickel. Because I know everybody loves their JSBs. But not a dime. But again, again, I wasn't trying taking a minute for each shot. Super Domes, I was surprised those did not do well at all. And they're a nice pellet. They work good in some of my other guns. Hades were kind of funny. These were garbage. Um, I don't know why. Oh yes, and the Hades also fit very loose in the bore. I had to actually use my beam and pell seat to push them all the way in because I noticed they just didn't want to stay in the bore. So. Anyhow, just something to note with those. The Barracudas, man, those things were doing doing really good. I was liking those, so. Well, not quite a quarter there, but, well, yeah. It felt like they were, oh, you can, almost, almost a quarter. And then hockeys, like, what the heck? Those were freaking doing amazing. Nickel, but then you had that one over there. Could you call that a dime? Mm, no, but... Hockeys were doing great. Oh, the Rabbit Magnums. <laughs> so that one was good, but yeah, I don't even know. Oh, they're one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and these things, holy moly, they, they, uh, they did not want to go in the bore. I had to really, really push them in with this. Um, and actually, in all fairness, trying to get those things centered to go in the bore, I think they were a little bit going in at an angle, so they, I could have been shaving them, so... Yeah, just don't use these pellets in uh, the 1101S. And finally, the JSB Beast. Yeah, the JSB Beast. These are the heaviest uh, uh, .177 caliber pellets I found on Amazon. 16.2 grain, heavier than a common 22 caliber pellet. Um, they're really cylindrical. Kind of a different thing. And uh, not much of a skirt, just uh, solid lead. But look at those. Those, although I don't know if they all, I mean, I have that one over there. I don't know if they all hit the page, though. Maybe I can tell in the video. So, anyhow. Yeah, I think uh, for your money, overall, um, I think you're best off with that. At least my gun is best off with these H&M Barracudas, the 10.65. And uh, I noticed the heavier pellet I went, the kind of the smoother the gun was shooting. But then your velocity drops off quite a bit. So for wide cutters, um, I think it's a toss-up between the Sig Match and the Daisy. Because I've seen really good results with the Daisy. And I guess I'm a little bit favoring those because they're so cheap. Uh, and they, they, fit, they feed in the gun really, really well to uh, insert them into the breech. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.